All right, here we are again with another what came in this week. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but I've just been so busy. So we're going to try and get it knocked out now before it gets dark out here. And the first one we're going to look at is this old Honda 3813. It's a two-cylinder liquid-cooled engine. And this actually runs and moves. And uh, the real problem is that the deck doesn't turn on. And this has a cable-operated clutch. It doesn't have a belt that gets tight. It is belt driven, but there's a clutch on the front, kind of like a clutch on the air conditioner on your car, but it's cable operated and uh, the cable moves, it actuates, but the blades don't actually come on. So we're going to be hopefully doing a video about getting that fixed. The next one that we have here is this little Sears Custom 8M. Now I believe the M means manual for manual start so this does not have a battery does not have an electric start does not even have any headlights so as far as an eight horsepower tractor from back around 1970 this was probably the base model now it is listed as an eight speed because they count reverse so it has three forward speeds plus reverse and then it has a high and a low you know, it has a high neutral and low, so it's got a, a transmission with a high and a low, and they add all the speeds, they, ca they call it an eight speed. But uh, this has like original looking tires on it. This thing looks like it was pretty much always garage kept. And then here's the engine, an eight horsepower, Briggs and Stratton, nice little flathead. Now supposedly this does run, but the carburetor needs some attention. It's a replacement carburetor already. There's a cute little white metal gas tank. And uh, if this had electric start, that's where the battery would be, but the previous owner put a a box in there you can put some uh, hand tools or yard tools in there but down under here we can see that it, it has a, a replacement carburetor and it's got some writing on it there but uh overall this is a, a really nice little piece and i'll probably end up holding on to this one for a while this will make a nice mate to go along with the other sears GT18 that I have. So also that came in this week is a Sears Custom 7. Now this one I bought separate. It did not come with that one. But this one actually has the mowing deck on it. However, it's not as in as good a condition as I thought. I didn't pay that much attention to the deck. I just saw that there was one. And also this has the original looking tires on it and wheels. Now, this one obviously has been sitting for a while. I'm pretty sure that's not the original seat on there anymore. But this one, you know, like I said, came with the mowing deck. And it's got headlights. And this is a Custom 7. And there you can see the electric start. You got the belt cover. And you got the extra pulley for the belt to hook up to the engine. And, uh... You know, this deck has the gearboxes on it. The deck is actually in a lot worse condition than I thought. It's aluminum and it's wore out or cracked. But I got a whole nother tractor with the electrical system that uh, someday I would like to put onto this one here. So, you know, I, I think there's going to be some videos on this. I'll, I'll be working on this and, you know, maybe before springtime, we'll see, see what I run out of and Maybe I can get to that. And I mentioned about that being a mate for my GT18. When I got this piece here, it was actually running condition. And it still pretty much is. I have the points out of it right now because every time I want to start it, I have to clean the points. And uh, I took those out before I actually started making these videos. But we're going to make a video of this thing going back together and starting up again. 
I just have to get around to doing it. And this has a 42 inch mowing deck on it. And like I said, when I got this, I had this a couple years now. It was actually in operating condition. It has an Onan GT18, well, an Onan 18 twin cylinder engine. <clears throat> so here we can see this Honda 13, I would assume a 13 horsepower engine. There you can see two spark plugs and a little cooling fan and a rat eater, some rat eater hoses there. And uh, automotive style starter on these Japanese engines. This one, Kawasaki's, even some of the upscale Kohler's, they use an automotive style starter. But here you can see under the hood, this is actually not in too bad a shape. And there you can see the clutch that runs the deck. Like I said, you move the cable, the lever, and it moves. It just doesn't engage the blades. And there, that's the cooling reservoir for the radiator for the cooling system. Looks a little bit low. Well, let's see if we can get this Honda started up. So there you can see it moves a little bit. I believe this has another clutch back at the transmission. It has a shaft, it's a shaft drive to the transmission. And I do believe it has another clutch in the back. And that one may be worn out, I don't know, but it does move, you just have to get it going. So now this is a little bit cold, that's why it's surging like that. But this is basically a lot like a car engine. It's got a timing belt here on the back. And it's carbureted. It's not fuel injected like the newer stuff. It's actually carbureted. So it's going to be susceptible to being cold. And here we got one headlight working and it actually works without it running and we got the bagger with it overall it's a pretty nice little piece it's pretty old I do believe it's from the late 80s Possibly the early 90s, but it is a pretty old machine. But it's a Honda, and it was about 40 degrees warmer when I picked it up. And uh, it ran like a Honda. It actually ran really nice. It started easy and uh, drove it right on my trailer. So now I know the transmission's not bad. I think it's just the, uh, I think this has a clutch on the front of the transmission. So hopefully, pretty soon, we're going to be looking at that. Uh, it's going to be springtime until we get to that old one there. But that's what came in this week. This really, really nice old Sears Custom 8M. And uh, a not that nice Custom 7. But I bought this so I'd have parts for the 8. So it's getting to be pretty cold out here. So things are slowing down. 
It's getting to be snowblower season. And you may notice, if you've seen some of my other videos, we got these jack stands sitting here. And right where this engine hoist is, there's no zero turn sitting there anymore. That thing is actually back on the ground. I finally got the pulley back on, got the seal in the engine, and I actually ran it around the yard and cut some grass with it. Now I can get working on the deck. So this here is the Cub Cadet Zero Turn that needed the crankshaft seal, and then it needed the pulley, because the pulley got destroyed by me trying to get it off. And uh, overall, it's not a bad machine, but it does have some rust on the deck here that I didn't realize at the time, you know, when I got it. But that deck bracket is pulling off the deck. So it's going to take a little work come springtime. But it does operate the way it is. <clears throat> and it's got a mate. So we're going to have two of these out cutting my yard. And we're going to get done a lot faster. So this is what came in this week. Uh, like I said, hopefully I'll get to look at the clutches on this. And uh, definitely is going to be a video on that little Sears 8M. So you'll want to hit subscribe so you don't miss them because I, I think the little Sears is going to be interesting to watch. So like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.